Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that, I always have my own bag. Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my most complimented perfumes of the year so far. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. I've been gone a while, I think three weeks. I think that's the longest I've taken on, on YouTube. And it's because I just needed a time away from social media. Let me not say social media because I've been active on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you scan the QR code on the screen and just follow me on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, create an account and kindly <laughs> follow me because I am loving it over there at the moment. I'm consistent over there. And if you want to know about like the new releases or the new perfumes that I'm trying, or PRs that I'm getting, I will always post it on Instagram first because it takes a lot longer to post the long form content on YouTube. But anyhow, I went on holiday with my family. I've had a lovely time off. So I'm a little bit rusty. So if this video doesn't go so smoothly, bear with me. Um, before I start the video, I'm going to share my lipstick of the day. And this one is by Sephora and it's 01. If you are looking for a cheap and cheerful red lipstick that looks amazing on every skin tone, this is it. This is long lasting, doesn't really smudge that much. I actually prefer this formula to the one um, by Fenty. I love that one as well, but that smudges everywhere. But this one is perfection in a tiny little bottle. So I'm going to start with a Middle Eastern perfume and I'm just dipping my toes into Middle Eastern perfumes at the moment and I'm finding a few that I'm really loving but since January of this year I find that every time I wear this perfume somebody many people actually will stop and ask me what I'm wearing and the perfume is Kawa by Letafa. For me this does not resemble Angel Share in any way shape or form. This is literally a standalone perfume. It's a flanker to the original um, camera that a lot of people love. In my eyes, camera is more unisex, leaning slightly masculine, whereas Kawa is giving me feminine energy. Now this one is cinnamon, this is vanilla, it has some coffee, but to, to me it's more like a caramel cafe latte type of scent it smells addictive it smells amazing it has amazing amazing longevity this is literally like an eight hour plus perfume a compliment magnet and this is so affordable when it first came out the price was not given i actually won this on instagram i actually entered a competition or a giveaway that um letafa was doing so this was sent to me when i won the giveaway so i really cherish this perfume once it's done i will be buying another one because i think it's amazing so that is kawa by letafa the next perfume is escapade gourmand now this perfume is so fantastic. The bottle is very, very beautiful. The price of this is a little bit expensive, but I feel like it's worth it because I'm a gourmand lover. I like to smell edible. I like to smell sweet. And that's what this perfume is. Now this gives me a very strong brown sugar vibe. I get caramel, I get vanilla. I just get a sweet sensation when I wear this perfume. Longevity is average. The projection is average, I wanna say. Um, I feel like you need to carry a decant with you in order for this perfume to keep lasting on your skin but it's a beautiful scent if you are a true gourmand lover I feel like you're going to love this perfume it gets compliments a lot especially by men again <laughs> the longevity is a little bit lacking but I don't really mind it not that it's lacking but I feel like after like a three hour mark i can't really smell this as strongly anymore so i always carry a decant and my uh, my dent right here but this is a perfume i'm always going to repurchase because i feel like the dna isn't particularly like something you've never smelled before if you're somebody that goes shopping you smell perfumes a lot this is not gonna like shock you but you're going to like it it's a very likable very pleasing kind of scent and again men love this perfume so that is escapade gourmand young pistachio gelato 33 by keali was not a perfume that i loved when i first sprayed it i thought it smelled nice but i was really expecting that strong 
pistachio nutty sweet scent and i didn't get that to start with but after this kind of macerated a little bit and i started to wear it more and more i fell head over heels in love with this perfume now it's got the notes at the back which is amazing so we have pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum we have whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy i get a nutty scent but it's quite creamy it's very light and fluffy i get the marshmallow it's such a beautiful beautiful perfume the longevity again on this one is average this is not a beast mode scent it smells like a pistachio gelato ice cream so it's not like overpowering men love this my husband adores this perfume on me it's like a date night scent for me in the summer months this is a sweet gourmand scent that you can wear in the spring and summer it's not going to overwhelm you it gets actually better during like when it's really really hot because i wore this on holiday and it smells so good like it was projecting off my skin beautifully i highly recommend this like it may be like my second most complimented kayali perfume or maybe it's on par with you guys already know i love sweet diamond pink pepper that is my favorite kayali perfume i feel like in terms of compliments they're definitely on the same level but this gets me stopped on the street when i wear it so that is yum pistachio gelato 33 next we have valentino pink pp i know this one was out of stock for a very very long time but it's back in stock on selfridges website i'm gonna link it below it's gonna be an affiliate link uh, i'm gonna link it though this is like 130 pounds for 100 mil i've always said this between this and Donna Bonnie Roma. This is better hands down in my opinion. This reminds me of Oriana by Performs the Mali. You have a citrusy floral here with vanilla. I believe it's got bourbon vanilla. It has um, orange blossom and it's got like mandarin orange. So you get a very nice citrusy opening. It remains sweet from start till finish. It lasts for a very, very long time. If you don't have the Performs the Mali Oriana uh, money, you can definitely get this one instead like performs the mali oriana is 75 mil for what 240 pounds or 230 pounds whereas this is a hundred mil for 130 pounds and if you live in the uk even in the us the shipping is not bad at all um, from selfridges so i highly recommend this perfume i feel like it's blind buy safe i don't think it's a perfume you're gonna get or you're not gonna like it it's very likable very easy very easy to wear and i almost guarantee that this is gonna get you compliments so that is valentino's pink pp the next perfume is a baby cat by ysl i remember a time where this perfume was so scarce it was hard to find everybody was trying to hunt it down including myself and the day this became available the way that i rushed to buy this perfume i can't even tell you i find this perfume to be one of the most beautiful vanillas ever it's very spicy it's very smoky it's very vanillic especially in the dry down the opening can be a little bit challenging i'm used to it now because i wear this perfume often as you can see my dent this is not a perfume that you need to spray a lot of it literally just stays on your skin for ages this to me is like the perfect autumn winter vanilla I wouldn't really wear this as much in the summer, maybe in the evening when it's super, super cool. I may spray like one or two sprays, but oh, this perfume is so, so nice. It's not as scarce anymore. You can get this at Selfridges. I think Harrods have it. Um, I'll link everything below for you guys anyway, but baby cat. A lot of people have said this overrated. I don't think so. I really don't. I think it's such a unique vanilla because the opening is just not like your average vanilla scent. Like for a designer perfume, this is giving me a niche quality vibe. Like it's just, it's just elegant. It's beautiful. I love it. Next we have Juice by Commodity. This was kindly sent to me by the brand. Thank you so much. I feel like this... This is the epitome of what juice is. Like this is so juicy. It's got lots of berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, all the berries in the world. This perfume has it. It's almost like watery fresh. You can wear this in the autumn, I'd say in the spring, summer. Not really a winter scent in my opinion. The bold version is, which is my favorite. Um, I cannot wait to get a full bottle of that one, but this has gotten me so much compliment. Like I was actually surprised because when I sprayed this perfume, 
it lasted a while but i stopped smelling it on myself but every time i walk past my husband he'll be like what is that what is that and i'll be like oh it's the new one by commodity so this definitely just grabs attention i would say if you want people to smell you over spray i'm talking i don't know 25 30 sprays and spray this down people will smell you you are almost guaranteed to get a compliment but to be quite honest getting compliments is not just based on how you smell it's the whole shebang it's the whole image that will make people feel drawn to you and want to tell you that you smell nice you look nice um but this perfume is amazing i highly recommend you get your nose on it i have a discount code 10 percent off so i will link it below if you want to check it out so that is juice by commodity mm. i've got a little surprise for you guys and you wouldn't know this if you don't watch the video to the end that's why you guys when you watch the video watch from start to finish because sometimes i just like to come up with surprises um i also love this stella amber coco peps put, put me onto this by zara i'm gonna do a comparison video with these two very very soon but for now if you like this and you can't afford this you can get this and that's all i'm going to say and what i'm going to say is if you want to get this i will buy you a zara voucher that you can use to buy this so you're going to answer a question in the chat right now so i'm going to put a question in the chat and once you answer i'm going to pick a winner at random and i'm going to send you a gift card that will enable you to buy stella amber by zara or any other zara perfume you don't have to buy this one it's up to you you can buy this size 30 mil or you can buy the bigger size whichever size you want to buy i will send you a voucher to purchase this perfume next we have devotion by dolce and gabbana this gives me candied lemon in the opening it's sweet it's citrus it's fresh it smells like a lemon cake to me it's not so gourmand that it's going to be too cloying too sweet this is so perfectly done if you like perfumes like bake by acro and you like zerjoff's lira you are going to adore this and this is for the fraction of the price one thing about this perfume that i really love is the longevity this is really really powerful i'm talking eight nine hours like when i wear this to work i don't need to overspray i don't need to take a decant with me although i do that just because i'm extra like that but you don't need to like just spray it to toe and this perfume is going to last for a really really long time it's heavy on the vanilla it's heavy on the citruses it's a perfect blend of fresh and sweet so that is devotion by Dolce and Gabbana. Next, we have my baby, Neroli Blanc Intense. This list would not be complete if I do not add this perfume to the list. I get a ton. When I tell you, no exaggeration, I get compliments on all my perfumes, to be honest, because I wear them well. I do my shower routine. I do my, my moisturize my skin. And I wear Neroli Blanc so much because it just fits every occasion like i can wear it to work i can wear it to a wedding i can wear it to a party i can wear it to a date night it's an easy reach it's just a perfect orange blossom perfume the same orange blossom you get in love don't be shy and oriana is the same one that is in here but this is not a gourmand it's not heavy um, it's a gourmand to an extent but this is not heavy this to me it's like a super realistic orange blossom scent that smells absolutely incredible. This perfume made me fall in love with orange blossom and I'm never going to stop. This is going to be a repurchase for life for me um, because it's such a unique scent in its own right. Like there's nothing like this in my collection. I have certain perfumes that have maybe like similar notes here and there but as a complete scent there's nothing like this in my collection and i highly recommend it so that is neroli blanc intense next we have alula by pen halligans this is one of the newest perfume i've bought actually i bought a few perfumes i can't lie so i'm going to do a haul very very soon so make sure you look out for that i'm not going to go into too much detail about alula but just know this is a fantastic release by pen halligans yes i'm buyers because it's my favorite brand but aside from that i really 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 enjoy the scent profile of this perfume it gets me a ton of compliments i will say that this is unisex leaning 
this has some spiciness i don't want to say too much but i am obsessed with alula the next perfume we have peregrina by thamin this is a special edition bottle i had to stop myself from wearing this perfume because it's expensive i am incredibly obsessed with this brand first of all i think all of the perfumes are amazing i am looking to get bravi oh my gosh that perfume blew my socks off but anyhow Peregrina to me is a very strong white floral scent with some gourmand elements. So you have notes of like lily of the valley, gardenia, you have caramel, you have vanilla, you have rose. This is very, very rose heavy, but it is stunning. Oh, this perfume, it's literally so addictive, like it would make your mouth water. I get so much compliments when I wear this perfume. I remember a man chasing me down. I was going to the post office. This was a few months back. I was going to the post office where this lovely gentleman chased me down to ask me what I was wearing so he can buy it for his wife because he thought I smelled good. And he bought it for his wife because actually a parent at my children's school, I didn't know at the time, but he came back to let me know that he bought it for his wife and his wife absolutely loves it. This perfume is just amazing. I feel like it's worth the money in my opinion. I know a lot of people are saving their coins at the moment, but again, I bought this like two years ago. So if you are looking for a super amazing very heavy white floral perfume and caramel and juiciness and sweetness and femininity definitely get your nose on this one so that is peregrina by femi next i have very good girl by carolina herrera i find this bottle to be so so sexy and so like just stunning some people find it tacky each to their own i think it's very sexy now this is giving me delina this is giving me delina but a lot more likable way cheaper and probably a little bit better the lychee here is not sour it's not going to throw you off it's a friendly um lychee it's a beautiful um, fruity rose scent it has the note of vetiver which for me comes across as a more masculine leaning kind of note but it doesn't come across in that way in this perfume this is to me the epitome of a woman this is such a feminine fun flirty sexy perfume with great longevity amazing sillage projection is crazy people are going to compliment you men and women i've never worn this perfume without someone not saying i smell amazing i have colleagues who love this perfume on me i just think is it's just so divine i am nearly out of this perfume and next time you see me with a bottle it's going to be a hundred mil so that is very good girl by carolina herrera next we have dior addict by christian dior this perfume has been in my collection for years and years and years not this particular one i'm i must have gone through a minimum of five or six of these perfumes because i am obsessed with this perfume the first first ever date night i went with my husband at the time wore obviously boyfriend and girlfriend this was the first ever date night perfume that i wore and i cannot tell you how much every time i wear this perfume brings back the most incredible memories of when we used to go dating um this perfume is amazing i find it to be young i find it to be not like juvenile young but like it feels to me it's like new love this perfume represents new love for me um it's a vanilla it's quite sweet it's not licorice like because people like to compare this to licorice i don't know what they are smelling but this to me is like an almondy sweet vanilla perfume it's incredible i love this formulation they have changed the formulation many years later which is why i'm clinging on to this bottle but once this finishes i don't know if i can just stomach the new formulation it's lovely don't get me wrong um the other toilet is amazing i should mention this is an other toilet it's the one with the um ombre dark at the bottom and the top i think they've changed it now i'm not sure don't quote me but like the scent has been reformulated it still has the same dna but it doesn't have the same longevity as this one again this formulation i'm clinging on tight to it because i just feel like it's amazing i would say out of all of the dior perfume i feel like this is the most likable and i've smelled all of them i've owned 
a lot of Dior perfumes at some point in my fragrance journey but I always come back to this one it's just such a special scent and I feel like a lot of people love this perfume there are people who don't like it but we're not going to talk about them we're going to talk about people that love this perfume and that includes myself so that is hypnotic poison by Dior uh, guidance by Amouage this perfume like the the thought of me hating this at the beginning is just beyond me that was that felt like a million moons ago because how could i have disliked this masterpiece of a perfume this is one of the most hardest perfume to describe because i have never smelled anything like it i have nothing to compare it to but for me it is sweet it has like a nutty vibe from the hazelnut the opening of this perfume is challenging so challenging to the point where i feel like if you don't give it a chance you may just want to wash it off your skin the opening it's not it's sharp it's tangy it's bitter it's sweet it's a lot like being thrown at you but if you just give it about i want to say two minutes let it start to set in it becomes a beautiful dove <laughs> like it just becomes so beautiful so pure so addictive so complex so inviting so compliment getting this is so incredible i am incredibly impressed with this perfume and I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of amouage perfumes they just never really worked for me but i'm so glad i gave this a second chance because I can't imagine not having this in my collection. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I'm not gonna do a top three because I'm really hot. <laughs> I'm boiling hot right now. And I just can't wait to go to bed because it's 1 a.m. as I'm filming this video for you guys. So um, yeah, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I've missed you guys so much. I hope you've missed me too. Um, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.